Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will solve a problem that will involve electric field equation and uh, we will find the intrinsic impedance, velocity of propagation and we will also see the dielectric concepts here. So the question is the electric field intensity associated with a plane wave traveling in a perfect dielectric medium is given by this equation. Perfect dielectric medium means for this the sigma is 0 since the conductivity is 0 for this since it is perfect dielectric medium. So the equation is Ex Zt it means it is the Ex stands for it is the x component of the electric field and it is a function of z and t as you can see here t and z are used here these are it is a function of t and time and z. So it is given by the equation 10 cos of 2 pi into 10 to the power 7 t minus 0 0.1 pi z volt per meter since the it is electric field so the units of electric field are volt per meter okay so i want to calculate the velocity of propagation okay and the intrinsic impedance so we will find these two things from this given equation this question was asked in the IES 2000 Indian Engineering Services. So let's see its solution. Ex zt. This is the equation that we have seen. Now let's compare it with the standard equation. The standard equation of this kind is this. Okay. This is Ex zt. The same thing. And this is E naught. This 10 is at the place of E naught cos of omega t minus beta z. Okay. This is the omega is the angular frequency and this is the phase constant beta and uh, now if I want to compare if now let's compare these two equations as you can see here at the place of omega I have 2 pi into 10 to the power 7 okay just the coefficient of t before just before t I have this so this is the omega and just before z it is 0 0.1 pi so this is beta so I can find by comparing that omega is 2 pi into 10 to the power 7 radian per second its units are radian per second and beta is 0.1 pi okay I also know that the velocity of propagation is given by the formula v is equals to omega by beta so I have uh, both of these things so v is this is omega okay and beta is 0.1 pi so answer is now I want to calculate the intrinsic impedance it is denoted by eta this is the second part of our question this eta is given by the formula under root of mu by epsilon this what is mu it is the permeability of the medium and this is epsilon is the permittivity of the medium so I can write this as just this is what this is under root mu divided by under root of epsilon so just uh, multiply and uh, divide it by the under root mu so you can see this is under root mu into under root mu is mu and this can be written as under root of mu into epsilon okay so i know that this one divided by under root mu into epsilon is the v it is the velocity of propagation this is the formula for velocity of propagation so i will write here v mu into v this is mu and this is v since i have calculated the v already it is 2 into 10 to the power 8 and the mu is permeability and the mu that is the permeability in free space we will take here is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 so the answer is the eta intrinsic impedance is nearly equals to 251.37 ohm so this is all in the next video we will see many other solved questions based on these concepts so keep watching friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye